Okay guys, before we finish this lesson today, because you have um, 244 on the back and you're really not gonna need too much help on this. I wanna work with you on reducing these fractions and finding those numbers really quickly. I know that that's hard. Guys, if you need to, I'm gonna teach you how to do these factors, okay? You need to know your tab list, so I hope that you're working on all that. But I'm gonna help you try to figure it out without always having to think in your head a lot and you can write some stuff down, okay? So they ask you, find the best numbers to use to reduce this fraction, right? Okay, what I mean by finding the factors is do this, look. Nine, how many numbers, what numbers can multiply together to get nine? Well, you can always do one and nine. One times nine. So you're gonna put the one here and the nine here, right? Then you go up to two. Can you do two times something to get nine? No. Okay, go up to three. Can you do three times something to get nine? Yes. Three, three. Okay, three times three. Can you do four times something? Mm -mm. Five times something? No. No more numbers can go be multiplied to get nine. Okay, so those are the numbers that you have to work with. You have one, three, and nine. That's it, okay? That you have to try to see if you can divide this and this by. Now, I already told you, never use one. Never use one because it won't change anything. So you now you only have two choices. So let's test them. Nine divided by three, is that, oh, let's start with a bigger one, paired up. Nine divided by nine, is that possible? Yes, it is. 27 divided by nine, is that possible? Think about it. If you stick your tablets, you should know. Yes, it is. Okay, so nine is a possibility. Okay, look at three. Nine divided by three, is that possible? Yes. 27 divided by three, is that possible? Yes. So those are your two numbers, and what number are you going to circle as the best choice? Nine is the biggest one. So here you go. Let's reduce it. You're gonna divide to reduce it. Divide by nine. Nine divided by nine. What is that? One. Twenty-seven divided by nine. What is that? Three. And there's your reduced fraction. Okay. Let's do eight. We got one times eight. Go up to two. Two times what? Four. Okay. Three, nope, four, we already have it. Okay, so here we go, here are your choices. One, two, four, and eight. Let's start with the biggest one. Eight divided by eight, possible? Yes. 16 divided by eight, possible? Yes. Okay, done with that one. Four, eight divided by four, possible? Yes. 16 divided by four, possible? Yes. Okay, next one. Two, eight divided by two, possible? Yes. 16 divided by two, possible? Yes, woohoo. So you can use eight, four, or two, but what's the best one? Eight, okay? Look at the six to over 24. Sixes, let's do it. One and six, go up to two. Two times three. Anything else? Nope. Cross over one, we don't need it. Six divided by six, possible? Yes. 24 divided by six, possible? Yes. Six is one of the things. Six, um, <laughs> six divided by three, possible? Yes. Six divided by, 24 divided by three, possible? Yes. So three is one. Six divided by two, possible? Yes. 24 divided by two, possible? Yes, so two is an option, okay? And then to reduce it, remember, six over 24 divided by which one? The six. Six divided by six is one. 24 divided by six is four. Okay, cool. Let me know if you need any more help on that. Okay guys, flip your page back to 244. We're gonna work on a word problem, but what I want you to do by yourself this time is 6A and number eight, okay? We don't have time to do this. We're gonna do 6B quickly together. Okay, look at 6B. Read it with me. Oliver earns $4.50 per hour. I always write down my numbers, you guys. $4.50, okay? Per hour, cada hora. Helping with yard work. If he works three hours every Saturday for four Saturdays, how 
much will he earn? Okay, well think about it guys. This is a two-stepper. I'm gonna give you that, it's two-step process, two passos. He makes $4.50 and every Saturday he works three hours. So how many hours is he gonna work every Saturday? Three, how much money is he gonna make? We have to figure it out. What are you gonna do? Add, multiply, subtract, divide, what do you think? Every hour, cada hora. Cada a lot of times means pour or divide. Well, if you're gonna divide if you want a smaller answer, you're gonna multiply if you want a bigger answer. Is he gonna get more than $4.50 for working for three hours? Yeah, because he's working more than one hour. So we need to what? Multiply. So let's do it. $4.50 times three. Three times zero is zero. Three times five is 15. Put your one up there. Three times four is 12 plus one is 13. Okay, and remember what you do. One, two, punto for your money, okay? But that's what he makes every hour. I mean, every Saturday. How many Saturdays did he work? He worked four. Okay, now if he's making this every Saturday and he worked four Saturdays, do you think that he's going to multiply or divide to get his total? Tell me. Multiply, because guys, he's going to make more than this if he worked more than one Saturday, right? So we're going to multiply. Here we go. Four times zero is zero. Four times five is zero. Two up here, we get a 20, right? Four times five is 20. Four times three is 12 plus two is 14. And put a one up here. Four times one is four plus one is five, okay? One, two, point, because it's money. He made $54, he made a lot, <laughs> okay? And that is the end of today's lesson. We didn't get time to do the, the 11 tablets, but you need to write the 10 and 11 tablets twice for your homework. 10s and 11s, and I don't have to write 10s on the board. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, because you guys know them, but you need to write them down. Thank you.